So today we are going to make an animation with this JBL speaker using geometry nodes, including geometry proximity. So let's get started straight away. I'm going to add a plane right over here. I've already brought in my HDRI. Just for the record, the HDRI name is Industrial Sunset. And you can get it on Polyhaven. I will add this plane. So I do S5 and now it is 10 meters. I will place this a little bit backwards. So it's on the back end of this C that we are going to make. It's going to be a C. So click on one, add the camera and make this a bit smaller until it fits the size that we're looking for. Something like this. Make a new material for this plane. Increase the metallic, decrease the roughness, bring in a noise texture, control T, plug in the object, and then we will add a bump to this. So factor, plug it right into the height of the bump, normal into the normal, and it will look like this. So all we have to do is increase the scale until it starts to look like water and decrease the strength of this. So let's add an images as planes. And I've got a blue sky that I've got from Pexels. It looks like this. Look into the camera mode and scale this up and make sure that we got a pretty cool vision for this. So now we've got our JBL speaker right here. We've got our sky, we've got our C. So the only thing we have to do is make some geometry nodes and make this look cool. So shift S on this plane, cursor to select it, add a new plane and click on new in the geometry node editor. Then I will go to the group input and delete it, add a grid because we want to control it in the geometry nodes itself. Right over here and now we've got a grid. It should be 10 meters. So distribute points on faces, instance on points. I'm going to change the density to one for now and I will change the scale to point one. Now we need to add some assets. So right here in the asset browser, you can get the nature assets for free on my gum road and it's right over here. We're going to add some stuff. So first I will add the grass stalk bush. I will also add some other types of grass like right over here and this one as well. Maybe we can add this 4k weeds and I will also add this ivy asset, bring it in here. And I am also going to use one thing that's not in the asset pack and it's a flower. So I got this flower right here and I think this adds a bit to the render but you don't have to do this you can also just use grass so i'm going to place this all over here select it m new collection and call it nature and now we need to go back into our geometry nodes i'm going to take all of this and bring it into this collection so i will select the geometry nodes plane and take this nature collection right over there set it to relative separate children reset children and pick instance right over here and now it will spawn some of these on our plane which is exactly what we want so we've just added the collection with the nature assets in it and the scale is set to 0.1 and i will set the density to 100 for now so we can see what we are doing and i will enter the geometry proximity node into our stack we need an object for this to guide which geometry is going to be affecting the other geometry. So I will take the JBL speaker, bring it right in here, set it to relative because we want its position in the world and not its original position, geometry into the geometry. And then we can add this to the scale. But before we do that, let's add a map range node, a math node, set it to multiply. And I'm going to use this simply to decrease the power of this uh, entire setup. So plug the distance into the map range value into the scale pretty big so that's why we use this math node we can now decrease this without having to use absurd numbers in this map range node so i'm going to keep this to zero i will set the from max to zero as well and now you will see if we increase this, things will start to grow starting from our JBL speaker. So that is the way we do that. So basically we want a small piece of grass surrounding this area of our JBL speaker using this from min value and determine how long it should be. The two max can be a bit less. I will increase the density to like 180 right now. So we get a bit more to work with. I think the flower is a bit too big and I also don't like the color for this scene. I really want it to be blue. So I'm going into the flower, add a hue saturation, a value node and change the hue until we get something bluish like so maybe decrease the saturation just a little bit so i'm going into the flower itself right over here shift s cursor to select it go into edit mode and now i will carefully look how much it can be scaled down it's better to do this on a lower density value by the way but something like this should work out for what i'm trying to do i'm going to animate this jbl box and afterwards we will see a problem that will occur and i'm going to fix it as well first let's animate this so i will select the speaker Press on I right here while we're on the first frame. Then I will move to frame 100, G and Y, and bring this towards the camera. As you can see, the entire grass plane is moving along and it's growing as well. But I will show you what will go wrong as soon as we place the animation keyframes. So right here, I'm going to bring it closer to the camera 
going to press I. I will center this. So I will take the camera and bring it slightly to the right. Now we've got an animation for this JBL box, but let's see if we can find a problem. The JBL is actually cutting through the leaves and flowers that we have right here. So if I zoom in on this, you can see that the JBL is intersecting with this flower and it will look weird in the final animation. Trust me, I tried to render it out and it doesn't look good, but there is a solution for this. So I've got a map range node right here. And if I can follow this logic, we need to make another map range node with a distance around our speaker, which will be able to remove a part of this geometry proximity. I will show you what I mean. So I've got this map range node and I will duplicate it, bring one underneath here. Now, this basically has a range. This is a circular range surrounding our speaker, but we want another circular range in between this to remove from this entirety. And that is what this map range is going to do. And the way we're going to do it is by duplicating this multiply node, bringing it over here, setting it to subtract. Then I will drag this map range into the value. And then I will plug the distance in the value as well from this map range. Now, as you can see, everything will disappear. So we have to change this from min value and I'm going to bring it down and you will see what it does. As you can see, there is an area surrounding our speaker where there are no plants growing. And that is exactly what we want because now we have the circular shape here without it covering the entire area. And also it will not intersect with the plants anymore. So I'm going to use the value of 0.38 for this one. And this will make sure that the plants are not intersecting during the animation. But as you can see, all these flowers have the same direction and the same goes for the grass. And this makes it look very unnatural and 3D. So we're going to fix that by pressing Shift A in the Geometry Nodes Editor and adding a Align Eulute Effector node. Align Eulute Effector, drag the rotation from the distribute points on faces into the rotation of the Align Eulute Effector and bring this into the rotation of the instance on points. So obviously we have to randomize this in order to make it look better. So I'm going to bring in a random value node and set it to Factor. Plug the Factor into the Factor of the Align Eulute Effector and now we have to play around with these values in order to make it a bit more randomized. You can do this for yourself to find a beautiful looking result. These are the values I am using. So now the animation is almost done. We have this growing grass. We have the JBL speaker coming towards us, but there's one little thing I want to add and we have to enter into geometry nodes once again. So I've placed the 3D cursor right over here. Shift A, curve, Bezier, new in the geometry nodes. And now we've got this Bezier curve right here and we have to add a couple of nodes as well. So I'm going to add a curve to mesh, curve to mesh right over here. Then I'm going to add a curve circle and then we will get a shape. As you can see, it's a bit too big. So we need to change the radius of this. So I will decrease the radius for now. Now, in order to animate this curve, we can also add a trim curve. Place it right over here. And when we adjust the end, it will follow the curve's path like this. So let's add a spline parameter, which basically decides between those two points where the zero and the one is, and the zero will be scaled down and the one will be this size. But in order for the spline parameter to work, we cannot simply add it to this radius. As you will see, it will bring in this red line. So we have to bring in another node, which is going to be the set curve radius. Place it right over here before the trim curve. And as you can see, it will be quite thin. Once we add the factor, we get this shape and that is exactly what we want. Now we need a way to control this as well. So I will add a map range node, plug it right in between. And then if we change the two max, we will change this size right over here. Naturally, the two min will change the size of that over there. So I'm going to keep it like this for now. And I will press on zero to go into the camera view, go into edit mode, select all deleted vertices. So now we've basically deleted our curve, but there's a handy button right here, which allows us to draw a spline straight in the viewport. So if I do this, it will make this curve. Now, as you can see, the thin part starts right over here. And if we adjust the end, you can see that the thick part is moving along. Well, actually we want the thin part to move along and the thick part to stay put. So we can change that by changing the from min to one and the from max to zero. And now it will be inverted. So basically what we can do now is draw a beautiful little symbol to accompany this speaker. And since we are adding Vivaldi Spring as the background music, I thought a heart would be appropriate because I love you guys as well. So right here, not the best looking heart shape yet. So I'm going to do a bit more work in this. So if you don't want this thin part to occur, you can also delete the set curve radius and just have it be like this and change this radius. And this also looks pretty good. So basically all we have to do now is play around with these values and make sure that we get something that we like. So I'm going to animate it starting from frame 40 and I will set the endpoint to zero. Press I on this. 
So now this heart shape will animate starting from frame 40 all the way until frame 100. You can draw a better heart shape than mine, just take some time and you can also adjust the way this looks by heading over into edit mode. So select the heart, head over into edit mode, select this and then you can like rotate this around in order to get the shape that you like. So the problem that now occurs with this JBL speaker is that as we move this along, we can actually see the scaling down of the flowers happening in real time, which means that the flowers that get closer to the JBL shrink down and it's quite noticeable. So we want to change that. And the way I'm going to do it is by selecting this grass plane, going over into geometry nodes to the top map range node that we plugged into the geometry proximity. Then we are going to animate the from min. So as we increase this, the grass plane increases its reach as well. So we are going to use that to hide this scaling animation. And basically what we want to do is go to frame 40, make a keyframe right here on the map range, and go to frame 100 and increase the size of this. Press I. So now we can no longer see that there's things scaling down as the JBL moves closer. Of course, there are some flowers dodging away, but since we get a whole lot more grass, it will be a bit more obfuscated. So heading over back into this geometry node setup because we haven't textured it yet. But let's go to the shader editor, press on new, and I will add the Bark001 texture, which you can get on Polyhaven. So I will add it right now, but as you can see, nothing really happens. And the reason for it is that in the geometry node section, we need to add a set material node or else it will not work. Set material, select this texture. And as you can see, it's kind of stretched out. So we need to change this to normal. And as we change this, there are some artifacts occurring right here. Now there's techniques to solve this in geometry nodes itself, but in this case, I'm just going to scale this up and play around with the rotation in order to hide this fact. Now pretty much all that's left to do is to add some lighting and also add some camera effects. So let's first add the light. I am going into the asset browser and I will use one from the ultimate go pack, namely cloud six, and I will drag it right over here and bring it upwards. And now we get some texture in our grass as well which will make it look a bit better go to the shader editor we can play around with the scale of this so it covers the entire plane and now we have some shadows in the grass but also some light areas which i think makes it look a bit better so if we turn this off it's kind of flat and but now it seems like it has a bit more depth heading over into the camera depth of field select our jbl speaker and set this to 1.4 and now this will be blurred out and the JBL speaker will be in focus. Now, maybe one final thing that we can add is a cube, scale it upwards, shader editor, delete the principal BSDF, bring in a principal volume, volume in the volume, give it a very low density, and now it has a bit more atmosphere. And that's it for this animation. You can play around with the geometry nodes, that's the reason we built them, and now you can make something that looks pretty cool. In the next video, we are going to transition this beautiful looking scene into a pretty dark vibe. Click on subscribe, and also check out the ultimate Gobo pack, link is in the description. And if you want to become an undeniable force, in the 3D space, and I highly recommend watching this video next.